Okay. I'm Navi. Today we're going to be looking at some Am I the Asshole? Where OP's dog disappears under mysterious circumstances. This was given to us by, <laughs> by a tiny pastel unicorn. I'm in a relationship with a guy, and we both work in tech. He makes 68000 a year, and I make 130000 a year. I'm a mechanical engineer at a robotic startup. He works at a more stable job doing programming at a large company. He brought me to meet his friends at a party, and they asked me about myself. His friends mostly work in tech, too, and talked about themselves in terms of their jobs. I told him I'm a hiker. I do archery. I love road trips and camping and riding dirt bikes, etc. Basically, talking about my hobbies because work is just a way to get paid to do the stuff I love. It's not how I define myself, and it doesn't come to mind when someone wants me to talk about myself. One of his friends asked about work, and I said, Oh gosh, I don't want to talk about work at a party. I spent my whole day sweating my butt off in 95 degree heat, trying to replace this busted motor just to find the replacement part was also broken. I wasn't lying or trying to downplay that I have a good job. That really is how I spent my day, and I wasn't in the mood to talk shop at a party. Some other conversations came up casually that probably made me seem like I was poor. I said that car dealership repairs were a ripoff, and I told my boyfriend that my childhood neighbor's trailer caught fire, and I was going to visit and help her out. I wasn't doing it on purpose, I was literally just talking about my life, but I guess I gave the impression that I was poor. It got later in the night, everyone was getting drunker, and some of his friends, not the close ones, were making jokes about me growing up in a trailer and being a gold digger and being ready to jump to a richer guy. Really misogynistic stuff, honestly, since they don't even know me, and it seems like they just assume all girls are gold diggers. And he didn't say anything. He later said it was because he'd smoked weed and he gets quiet and has trouble carrying on conversations when he's high, but regardless, I felt hurt he didn't say anything. I got irritated with his friends, and I asked, Now, why the hell would you say that when I make twice what he does? His friends went quiet for a second, and I continued, There ain't no gold to dig here, not with him or anyone at this party. So do y'all think I'm cheap, or do y'all think I'm stupid? My boyfriend wanted to leave the party shortly after, and he was pretty upset at me for telling everyone I make twice what he does. I said I would have held my tongue if he'd checked his friends himself, but he didn't say anything, so I wasn't about to let them talk to me like that. He said it was humiliating, and now everyone thinks I'm a bitch, and I flippantly said, at least they know I'm a rich bitch. He was angry I embarrassed him when I spoke up, and I was angry I had to say anything at all because his friends were talking shit, so it should be on him to check them. Stuff is still tense. So am I the asshole for explaining why I'm not a gold digger? Okay, okay, wait. So he was fine with you being humiliated by his friends, even though he knew that they were wrong. But when you came out and told the truth, since it made him embarrassed, he was upset. Thank you for the input, sweetheart. It sounds to me like his friend group is full of misogynists, and it makes him feel embarrassed that his girlfriend makes more than him. That's a little sad, honestly. Let's just hope he gets some super glue soon so he can hold together that fragile masculinity. You're not the asshole. Will I be the asshole if I press charges against my mother-in-law for the way that she treated my dog? I'm a 28-year-old lady, and my mother-in-law is a 58-year-old lady. We'll call her M. M loves my garden. However, she sneaks into it and loves to read books, have picnics, and pick flowers too. Perfectly fine with this, it's just my dog, who we'll call D, also loves to be in the garden. He poops, plays, runs around, and lays in the garden. 
this would be fine. It's just that M is allergic to dogs. I tell her I'm letting D out to play or use the restroom, but she refuses to leave, saying that the dog can wait or I'm allergic. Stuff like that. My husband doesn't mind having the dog use a grass mat in the sunroom, but it tends to make the whole room smell like dog poop. Many guests have complained of the smell, and even when I scrub the mat with a lot of soap, scrub the floors, wash my dog, and spray the air, the odor still manages to come back. To combat this, I just let my dog go outside to do his business. M hates this. I ended up explaining the situation, and I told her she's no longer welcome if my dog is going to be a health concern for her. She went insane. She started screaming and yelling, saying that she's entitled to be in the garden. I just told her to leave. The next morning, I went to go feed Dee, but I realized that I couldn't find him. I frantically searched everywhere, but Dee was gone. I called my husband, who'd been in Florida for the past week, to see if the cameras had caught anything. I don't know the password to access them. And he said D got in the car with M, and they sped off. I was pissed. I hopped in my car, and I drove to M's house to see what happened. And apparently she took my dog to the pound. The psycho stole my dog and drove them to a pound 30 minutes away. I called the pound and the police. The next thing I knew, I was being yelled at by all of my relatives on social media. And now I'm thinking of pressing charges. Would that make me an asshole? And don't worry, I I got my doggy back. He's sleeping on the couch. Oh my goodness, OP. What the heck is wrong with your husband? He would rather have the dog pooping inside when you have a very good backyard because his mom wants to sit in the garden? And I'm sorry, if she's allergic, being outside at the same time as the dog probably won't hurt her, especially if the dog doesn't come near her. I really hope after this, your husband recognizes that his mom is a bit of a narcissist because if he tries to defend these actions, that might be a little bit of a red flag. If she's more than willing to treat animals this way, I have to wonder how she treated your husband when he was younger. Either way, Hopi, you're not going to be an asshole. She stole your dog. That's illegal. When someone does something illegal, you call the police. If she didn't want the police called on her, she shouldn't have stolen your dog. Actions have consequences. You're not an asshole. You know, I'm glad that the algorithm isn't allergic to dogs, though I do think she prefers cats. If you liked this video, please be sure to feed the algorithm by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope you guys have a good week, and I love you very much. Bye-bye! Bye-bye, boo!